the golden hour series and the last episode of my wedding series. We are now in Rauskirka, the Raus church in Sweden, Skåne, and I am going to show you how I photograph during the ceremony in the church because there is so much to think about. And of course we don't have a real ceremony because it would be very awkward for me standing here. I've been photographing over 200 weddings, so I have some experience how to make the ceremony beautiful and not disturb anyone. So here is the last wedding episode. The first thing I do when I enter the church is to put on a jacket of respect of the ceremony. So I never enter the church with um, these kind of dresses. I always put a jacket on first. When I come to the church, I always bring my two cameras out and usually I photograph with a 5D Mark III with a 35mm from Tamron and a 5D Mark IV with a Tamron 70-200mm or 85mm depending on the size of the church. So I never bring my bag into the church, I always keep it in the last row so it won't disturb anyone and it's easier for me to move. So now we have entered the church and I will put the bag in the last row and take out the cameras that I need. A good thing to prepare before the ceremony starts is to take off all the lens caps because they will make very high sounds when you are taking them off during the ceremony. So prepare yourself to take the caps off and open the bag so you don't have to do this sound. Okay, so since we are recording with a 5D Mark IV and a 35mm from Tamron, I'm showing you the other camera that I used during the ceremony, which is a 5D Mark III and a Tamagon 70-200 2.8 and aperture. And this is a very good lens when you are photographing a ceremony. And always remember to close the zippers. <laughs> okay, I think you get my point, right? So, when I'm in the church, I never photograph with a 50mm. It's a very good lens, but it's very hard to be flexible with a 50mm in the church. So, I use three lenses during the ceremony, which is a Tamron 35mm, which I have on one camera, and I have another camera with a 70-200mm from Tamron or a 85mm, depending on the size of the church. I will use my Tamron 70-200mm 2.8 now because in the aisle here it's easy for me to move and there's no room uh, on the side of the benches so it's better to have a, uh, a zoom here so I can uh, be discreet during the ceremony. So when I arrive to the church I always um, go to the front and try, uh, try the light and um, when they are uh, coming into the church, I will use my 35mm for long distance shots and then I will use this to take some close up when they are uh, getting closer to the, yeah, the altar and everything here. <laughs> so this is my position when I'm photographing a ceremony in this church. It's uh, depending on what kind of church I'm photographing at, but I usually I stand um, at the first row to take the pictures when they are coming into the church because it's easier to take a step out and not get the guests in uh, in front of the picture so when the couple is entering I stand here and then when they are uh, entering I take one step out in the aisle and take a few pictures and then when they're getting closer I take a step back uh, so they can uh, walk past me so when the couple have entered the church I will switch position and walk down here And I will stand here and take a few shots until they, uh, all the guests are sitting down again. And when the guests have uh, uh, taken a seat, I will walk back again and I will stand here. So now it's very bright because the doors are open. But don't forget to be ready with the eyes so because when they close the door behind them, it will be um, much, much darker. So this is a very good lens because I can have a, a picture with the whole church. And since I have an image stabilizer on this lens, I now can use ISO 200 and 100 in shutter speed and 2.8 in aperture. And it's really good light. 
so it's better not to take too bright pictures. Perfect. I always talk to the priest before the ceremony because it's really important to me to be uh, professional and show them respect and tell them uh, that I will not disturb the ceremony, I will not use a flash and I will not take pictures during, during the prayer because I think uh, of respect it's better not to take pictures uh, when they are praying. And then I will never, never enter the altar area. So if the priest insists you to walk up there, you can do that. But I never do it on my own because that, that is a sacred place and it's really, really important to respect that uh, because this is um, a holy uh, place for many people. So it's very important to show respect. So it's better that the ceremony is beautiful and that you not disturb the ceremony rather than you getting good pictures. I also do highlight movies to my couples when I am recording some short clips from the ceremony and the whole day and sometimes the couple also wants the full ceremony recorded and when I do that I always bring a tripod from Cyril and I put it in the in the back of the church and I just let one camera record the full ceremony so I won't be here and check it but I will put it here and record everything that's happening. When I'm done in the front, I will go back to the end of the church again and take some shots from here. So I always do my safe shots first, maybe during the first song. I usually don't uh, walk or move when it's quiet, when someone is talking. I always move when there's music in the church because then uh, not everyone will notice me and I want to be as discreet as possible. So I try to move uh, where I'm going to stand when the music is playing so I won't disturb the ceremony. So now I'm in the end of the church and I will use the 70 to 200 millimeter from here to take some detailed shots of the couple in the front. I use very comfortable sneakers while photographing, even in the church, because I think it's very important to have uh, comfortable shoes so I won't get any back pain. So this is the shoes I'm using during the wedding. They are a little bit dirty from uh, Saturday's wedding, so usually they look a little bit nicer. But they are very comfortable and uh, I think they're very cute as well. So this is the shoes I am wearing the whole wedding. and. When I was photographing last Saturday, I didn't have any pain at all in my feet after 13 hours, so this is amazing! It's very important that they're also very quiet, so you won't make any sounds while moving around in the church. Do you hear anything? too hot in the church you just do like this won't disturb anyone it looks totally normal hey hey let's go I'm just kidding don't don't do this don't do this okay so when we are photographing in the church it's very important to turn off this this is very disturbing so go into the camera menu and shut it off please if you keep track of the program, it will be easy for you to know when the kiss is, so you can prepare yourself. And for the kiss, I always stand in the back with a zoom, so I can get both uh, shot over the whole church when they're kissing, and then zooming in to take a more close-up shot. And it's also good to have the program so you know when to walk uh, out of the church. So in the last song, I usually walk to the end of the church and be ready with a 35mm to capture them when they are walking out. So it's a wrap! Thank you so much for watching this wedding series and we will see you soon again on Golden Hour series. Goodbye! <laughs>